We got kids, we got little ones. We got one in preschool, just brought him back. Second year, full-time preschool. We didn't even tell him till the first day. He was so pissed. <laughs> He's like, I'm going back in here? Yeah, get back in there. You're doing it again. <laughs> that butterfly you made last year in a tissue paper? Brutal. <laughs> Give it another shot. Now he's walking around there, just like a fifth year, just kind of helping out the younger kids. <laughs> what are you looking for, glue? Come on, come with me, I got it. Don't eat this shit, I think that's why I'm still here. <laughs> I gotta pick him up, that sucks. Picking kids up at preschool is the worst. It's awful, because you're just out there with all the other parents, like you're a baggage claim. Just waiting for yours to come out. Like, sorry, thought that one was mine. We got a white one too. <laughs> it's pressure picking up your kid at preschool because you want them to be excited to see you and sometimes they are not. Sometimes they want to stay in the building. You're like, let's go, come on. They're like, no, no. <laughs> come on, let's go. You gotta like coax them. Like, come on, big surprise. Come on, in the car. I'm like, in the car, where are we going? Home. We're not doing shit. What are you doing? Run at me when you see me. <laughs> Give me a hug. Now your teacher thinks I beat you. <laughs> Which we do not do, we do not. But we yell. They say you shouldn't yell at kids, but I yell. Some things have to be yelled, right? You can't just be like, hey, get out of the street. <laughs> There's a bulldozer coming. <laughs> Stop hitting your sister with that bat. She's bleeding out of her ear. <laughs> yeah, we yell, because it's tough being married with kids. It is, it is difficult, right? But no one tells us. We just line up and do it. Why is that? There's no heads up, no warnings. There's opportunities, right? You know how many bachelor parties I was at? They brought a stripper? That's stupid. They should bring out a guest speaker. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you fellas all set? All right, let's bring him out. This is Ken. <laughs> Ken has been married for nine years. <laughs> He's got four kids. As you can see, he had to bring two of them here tonight. <laughs> now get your dollars ready. He's gonna discuss joint checking accounts <laughs> and sleep deprivation. That's why we fight, we're just exhausted, right? That's why you get in these arguments. I say stuff to my wife, she says stuff right back. We go back and forth, then she gets pissed off, you know? So it's like, you wish you married someone else? Is that what you want? You wish you married someone else, don't you? One of those blonde sluts you dated. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's my fantasy, just to be married to someone else. <laughs> that's what I lie in bed dreaming about. Same exact storyline, different cast. Really? That'd be like someone in a hospital. I wish I was in a different hospital. <laughs> we fight, you know? She tried to insult me the other day. She's like, you're not organized. I was just like, ouch. <laughs> she acts like we met at the container store. It's like, babe, I met you at a bar at noon. <laughs> Maybe that was a sign. I leave stuff laying around. Just make me a pile. That's what we do in our, every family does that. You just make piles for each other, super passive aggressive. Just like, look what you've accumulated over the past week. Let's go, slob, get it out of here. Just leaving piles. My wife loves doing that. Just monuments all over the house, you know? Just leaves the laundry out, all folded, just so I know she did it. So, yeah, I did the laundry. It's like, looks like you're almost done. If you wanna, we can just talk if you wanna. We can be friends if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We can just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We can be friends if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. Oh.